My name is Greg Friedrich, and I've been building cars my whole life. I have a shop called Gizmos. Our cars are hand-built. Our race cars win car shows, and our show cars win races. Our cars are as beautiful as they are functional. I had a client that was a good friend, and we shared the same passion and dream. We had a partnership on a land speed car. Our goal was to do 200 miles per hour. We got close, but then it all came to an end. It felt like unfinished business. Sometimes, you just have to start over. For one reason or another, the, the bird catcher or hat, or air scoop, whatever you want to call it, it just doesn't fit our opening. It did fit at one time, but since it's been in paint, we had our intake actually fabricated and built. So something, something went wrong there. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter what went wrong or whose fault it is. We just gotta fix it. It's not, it's not a huge deal. We're all just kind of feeling a little bit burnt out right now and wanna load it and get on the road. We'll vault these holes a little bit so the whole hat can slide back slightly and we'll have plenty of clearance. And life will be good, hopefully. Be nice to the top of this, okay? If you want to put it this way, and you can push down. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to put it on the machine, on the mill, but it'd be like an hour and a half of setup time sure. for something weird like this, you know? Yep, yep. And then we just had the, the whole thing all polished, mm -hmm. so. After a long day and an even longer night, no one was really in the mood to be interviewed. With the car loaded up and everyone's bags packed, it was time to hit the road. The next stop, the Autorama Car Show in Detroit, where we unveil the car to the public for the first time. I love it, I think it's awesome. I like the body shape in the front, the way it scoops around the wheel well, the way the glass is curved, everything about it is gorgeous. What do you think it's designed to do? 
to go fast? To go fast. Yeah. <laughs> I think this car is pretty cool, man. Um, I, I like the way that it's um, lowered. Um, we were just talking about how the suspension was configured, whether or not it was bagged or, or if it was, um, you know, uh, some other custom setup there. Uh, but it was just uh, really cool how, how they got everything tucked inside of the car and all the custom work there. I like it. Different. Very different. What, what do you think it's for? It looks like it's for drag racing. It's actually it's actually a street legal land speed car. Really? Yeah, we're gonna take the Bonneville car. Yeah. It looks smooth enough to do it. Hey, how you doing? Bo here from Professionals Customizing. We're out at the uh, Detroit Autorama. We got uh, Gizmo's car that we were uh, earlier in the video that we were painting. Uh, they got it all together in a record time and, and uh, hauled it out here, and now we get to see it all put together, which really makes it cool. So. Uh, I think the colors that, that we worked with them, that Greg picked out, worked great. Everything looks super cool. People are digging it. It's just a, it's quite, it's the only land speed car they got out here. It's, it's always fun to have something different in a room that's just full of different. I'm Reed DeCour, here with House of Color. I'm the National Tech Rep. Um, we actually sponsored the Gizmo's car. I saw the renderings of it, and, and right away I thought it was really unique. Just seeing a, a, a wagon uh, chopped, and, and to see a wagon look tough, it's pretty hard to accomplish. And then to have Paul Vestio behind it, uh, pushing for it, knowing his expertise with House of Color and, and how well he uses our products, it was a it was a hands down, let's do it. Again, it, it's so elegant, but looks so tough. It's pretty hard to capture that element in a vehicle. It's a four by four, or it's a low rider, or it's a speed car. It's kind of hard to tell what that thing is. You can drive it on the street, swap out the rear end, and now it's a, a, a land speed car. Just the versatility of it and, and the elegance of it is, is really cool to, to, to combine together. So House of Color was, um, it was founded in 1956 by John Kosmoski. He's from Minneapolis. He basically started it from the ground up out of his garage. But we don't do any OEM colors, it's all custom only. You pick your shade, your metallic eye color. It's, it's universal for anybody. Like on, on the Gizmos car, you know, that's a color that Bo created. The sky's the limit with what you can do with us. I'm not, I've never been a Camaro guy or a Mustang guy or Corvette guy. I, I've always liked the oddball, oddball cars. To see a wagon like that, and, and I think it's confusing a lot of people out here because you'll see a lot of cars that style that are really poorly done. People have a cool idea, but they don't know how to execute it. Now when you see Gizmo's car, you walk up to it and you're going to think, well, wow, they, they did the paint nice, and then you see how nice the bodywork is, then you look at the inside and you realize extremely well executed build um, that it, 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 I think it's really shocking a lot of people because they're not they're not expecting to see the work that's in a, a, a land speed car like that and all the elements of it combined is just a really one off and it's a really cool look well we made it to Detroit somehow the, uh, the car has been getting very well received a lot of really nice compliments. Um, Vecchio's, House of Color, those guys just knocked this thing out of the park. Everybody loves the paint, they love the color. It's been a huge, uh, huge success as far as I'm concerned. The car's not done. It is a, you know, a complete rolling car. We got more work to do with that to shop. But it, uh, it looks great, man. I'm really happy with it. We've been really getting some really good feedback. Not just uh, the audience, but some really big names have stopped by and complimented us, and that was that was really nice. It was really cool to see that, and it's it's great for the guys at the shop too to get that appreciation and acknowledgement. Well, now that we're at the show, it's just about to an end. We're gonna get this thing back to the shop. We're gonna do all the wiring, electronics, plumb the car, a couple of things here and there. We're gonna make a drive shaft, figure out our clutch and input shaft bunch of little stuff like that that takes way too long but that's the way it goes 